Today we ask the age old question. Will it lasagna? Let's talk about that. Good <laughs> mythical morning. Woo! We are back, y'all. <laughs> happy season 19 premiere and happy 20 and 21. Yes, and listen, we want 2021 to be drastically different than 2020, and to be specific, drastically different in a good way, universe, please. So, we wanted to kick off this season with some warm and fuzzies for our tummies. Mm, culinary warm and fuzzies, to me, immediately screams lasagna! I mean, if we're doing this thing. Scream lasagna well, to the screaming universe! Screaming to the universe, lasagna, that's right. It's the culinary delight that's got more layers than a Christopher Nolan film. Whoop, whoop. But the question, that we are going to answer today is, if we take lasagna into uncharted territory, will we still be happy when we're stranded on a remote culinary outpost? It's time for... Will, will it lasagna? lasagna? First, let's establish the essential elements of lasagna that we are working within. According to the mythical kitcheneers, lasagna gotta have noodles, yep. gotta have sauce, yeah, okay. and gotta have cheese, right. but most importantly, you gotta have at least two stacks of those noodle sauce and cheese and to be lasagna. Okay, now we're gonna start off with a classic lasagna stackage made up of a classic food court snackage, Wetzel's Pretzels, and we're calling this one, Wetzel Mattel with this lasagna. <laughs> uh, Trevor, what have you done? So I took the original pretzel from Wetzel's Pretzels and infused that into the noodle dough. And then I took uh, two pretzel dips from Wetzel's Pretzels, the cheddar cheese and the jalapeno cheese and made that into a sauce. No, you didn't. And then finally it is Wetzel Dogs is the meat. So it's just cut, cut up Wetzel Dogs in there. And what is that on top? That is the pretzel noodle. It's a crispy pretzel noodle on top with pretzel How do you make a noodle? Out a of a pretzel. pretzel. Isn't that cray? It is 2021. It, it kind of looks like a fruit roll up. I'm I gotta, just being I, honest. I'm gonna pull like a that, salty. I'm actually gonna pull that back to get. Right, because underneath there. To get all the way through here, rip it and dip it. Lasagna is, is special Heaven. to me. It's special. So I, I'm actually nervous. That you're gonna get, it's gonna get messed up? For that, you? that this is gonna, this is gonna mess it up. I, I mean, are you a big Wessel Pretzel guy at the mall? Thank it. Thank it. It's a good mall food, because you can just keep walking around. And sink it. Mmm. <laughs> it's salty. I mean, besides the layering and the cheesiness, I like it, it, it's though. just pure pretzel. I mean, are you, are you, are you going in the, the Dillard's right now? No. Are you smelling the perfume in the nope. belt department store? I'm going the, the in, hex or whatever. I'm going into Spencer's Gifts. Mm -hmm. I'm going to the back. I'm going to the posters. I'm looking over my shoulders. Is anybody gonna watch? <laughs> I know Is anybody what, gonna watch? I, I, I know what you're doing. Twelve year old wreck. Go through the posters. Oh, look at that. In the back of the. Oh, oh, look at that. Oh, ooh, I'm not ready for that. Oh, that's, that's. Did you open your eyes when you were? 12 years old? Yeah, I was looking at it, but in my dreams, I had to access it. Because otherwise, I just would have been looking at Jake if, and if, I, if, I, if I had my eyes open. <laughs> Did you know how salty that was? There's a lot of pretzel salt on top. <laughs> oh my gosh. I, I mean, listen, I think something happened here. I think it's somewhat beautiful. It's like kind of like those posters. It, it depends on you, which one. You're learning a lot, aren't I learned you? learned a lot. I learned everything I know about sex from the posters at Spencer's. <laughs> <laughs> Wessels pretzels, will it lasagna? Yeah. Yes! Whether you call it bubble tea, tapioca tea, pearl tea, or it's more common name, boba teas. That's what I call it, boba tea. That's what uh, I call it. Nobody has tried to turn this slurpable drink craze into lasagna before, and we might be about to find out there's a good reason for that. <laughs> yeah. This is, waiter, there's balls in my lasagna. Uh, boba balls. Oh my, uh, it, this is heavy. I feel this, like you need to confess something. This is, this is. Why painful. did you do this? <laughs> There's a lot to confess. So the pasta sheet is made out of tapioca jelly. Oh, I see the that. The cheese is made out of Thai milk tea. Uh, there is a taro milk tea sauce with lychee jellies inside, and then it is topped with rainbow boba. And there might be a little surprise in the middle for you. Oh, in the middle? Uh, I want, should our approach mentally be dessert lasagna? It's like when you get a Frappuccino from Starbucks or something like that, it's like, this is. This it's really dessert, dessert but let, let's be real with it. Now, I was gonna say we could try to suck a boba out of the middle, but oh, let's yeah. go for a slice first. I think first. I, you gotta experience it as lasagna That first. cheese, is it actual, you, it's not cheese at all. There's a little bit of cheese in there. Yeah, you gotta. Let's, hey, it's the beginning of the season. We're gonna dink and sink on everyone. 
No, let's not set let's not set a standard we can't live up to. I didn't say it was a standard. I said it just let's just dink and sink on the first on. two. Dink, dink it. it and sink it. It's a gelatinous mess. It's creamy though. You know what it's very reminiscent of? You've been to many family reunions in the South. One of those shake, somebody shaky always jello brings things. a weird gelatinous mold, and I'm always into it. <laughs> I mean, like, I, I'll take that thing home with me. There's like a creamy or pudding tapioca y thing happening in the middle, and that's the part that I like. Well, the, the speaking of the middle, we need to go in. Let's see if we can suck up a ball, but not from the top, gotta deep go, deep down. Gotta go all the way in. Mm mm. My whole straw is getting. Mm. Oh, that was the problem. I got three balls in my mouth all at once. I'm getting nothing, man. You're, I mean, they're, they're in there. You're, wor can, you're working a lot harder than I know. Though. It's like, oh my gosh, my it's like my throat is collapsing on itself. I gotta say, this is dangerous. I like the texture. I think it's fun. Oh, there it is. I think it's a novelty item. You would do this, and you would like it. You'd be in the like some weird part of Disneyland and you'd all split it. You got me on splittable. Boba, will it lasagna? Yes! All right, Mythical Beasts, for season 19 of Good Mythical Morning, you may have noticed we have an all new mug. And at first you might be like, oh, they kind of brought back the classic yeah. black mug with the orange icon but on it, it. But it does have an additional side, which is something new, but that ain't enough. Check out this, y'all. If you got some hot water, you just pour it into your mug. It is a heat activated design. I don't mean to, uh, <laughs> spoiler alert, but. Watch what happens. Once that mug heats up, oh, look at that. I want him to see the whole deal, y'all. It is freaking revealing. <laughs> look, look how it comes up. The design from the intro. And you can see that it is the cockatrice who is in the night sky, blowing good mythical morning with written link all over the universe. I would turn my mug around, but you filled it so high with boiling hot yeah, cause water. Yeah, because I because I wanted to get all I wanted to get the logo all the way to the top. Bro. That's good. But yeah, mythical.com. Be one of the first to get the brand new mug, get some hotness in it, and then it'll explode with design. <laughs> yes, and then will. it'll go back to coolness. Mythical.com. All right. Despite the facts that lasagna is stacks on stacks on stacks, it never seems to bring home the bacon. Right. So we thought it was high time for lasagna to go whole hog oh, okay. by channeling the big pig energy of a <laughs> Wendy's Baconator. Behold, the lasagnator. I think it's the lasagnator, or is it this the lasagnator? The lasagnator? I think the lasagnator is yeah, good. Yeah, lasagna how, how we, it would sell better. This looks good. Trevor, what did you do? This has pasta dough that has been incorporated with American cheese. Incorporated. This, there's cheese in the dough, y'all. Yeah, cheese the cheese in incorporated. Oh, what, we can't, what can we do now? <laughs> then the sauce has Wendy's Baconator meat and bacon in it. It is topped with more American cheese, and on the top, that is a Baconator bun that has been crumbled on it. Whoa, what, you got a Baconator bun you just crumbled? And I'm just going to give it a sniff. I mean, what is this meat? Smell it at. That's just... That's just meat. You could have smelled a year. Baconator meat. I got to get in on this, man. There's absolutely no chance. So this lasagna is square. Incredible. Wendy's. I'm not waiting for you. Wendy's burgers are square. You didn't succumb to the temptation of just to slap a you whole see, burger in there. He likes to talk. I like to eat. That would be mm. too much, wouldn't it? Oh my gosh. You want to you want to get the sauce to coat the meat when you make it, and if you just flop the whole square in there, it wouldn't really work. This is magical. This is absolutely incredible. Mm. Now listen. It I, is so cheesy. So yeah. meaty. Here's the thing, we're not technically in the Baconator demographic because oh? the CEO of Wendy's admitted at the time, admitted. <laughs> like, <laughs> yes, you got me, what? <laughs> when they introduced this in 2007, that it was targeted towards 18 to 34 year old males. Now let me tell you, we were about 34 when this show started, season one, okay? So we've been out of the demo for a long time, almost 10 years. But let me tell you, I've never felt more like a 34-year-old than I do <laughs> than I do right now. This is this is so, this is so good. I'm having such a great time. Back this to season one. Wendy's Baconator. Will it lasagna? Yes. yes. Because I have such a deeply rooted, long-lasting love for lasagna, I thought that hey, maybe this is an opportunity mm. to incorporate something that I'm trying to like but I can't, mm, which is sushi into lasagna, so it's, you know, I, I become more of a sushi lover. 
So that's what we're gonna try right now. Say hello to 20,000 layers under the sea. <laughs> okay, Trevor, uh, what happened here? What happened here? That is seaweed infused pasta dough with a sauce made out of ginger, soy, and wasabi, raw salmon and tuna as the meat, spicy mayo cheese, and it's topped with rice, more spicy mayo, and roe. We technically should use chopsticks for this. If you were taking lasagna and making sushi, yes. If you're gonna pick a lasagna apart, oh, and it's like, it doesn't lasagna. It cuts nice. I know you're on a quest to like sushi. I think the way that we're trying to get you to like sushi might not be the best strategy. I think <laughs> when everything opens back up, you go to Sugarfish and you just get the, the, the menu, the chef figures it all out, and if you don't like that, I'm gonna, I won't be your friend anymore. I don't, but I know you will, you will like it. I'll, I'll tell you what's wrong with sushi in my mind. I don't like seaweed and I don't like the raw fish. Everything else works. Oh, this is good in that, in that. Uh, the noodle's actually super mild. I think you might like it. All right, so I'm, I'm getting a little bit of both fish. Uh, I think you're gonna like it. That, the mayo goes a really long way. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not messing with you. Just do it. You can do it, you I know. believe in you. Just where it's sugarfish. They would never put that much spicy mayo on anything at Sugarfish. It's not, it's not bad. Is that as good as you can do? It's okay. It's, it's decent. If it makes a man who doesn't like sushi think that sushi might be okay, then I think the verdict is clear. Yeah, because the seaweed is not there. The seaweed is not the there. The seaweed is there, but it's, it's not. It's not there. It's, it's, it's folded in. It's working. Sushi, will it lasagna? Yes. yes! Okay, most people will tell you that fat equals flavor, but right. is a lasagna made entirely out of animal fat too much flavor for our little tongues to handle? This is lardzagna. <laughs> Good lord almighty. <laughs> Now I, you know, it looks good. It almost it, it looks like a normal it looks lasagna. Looks like lasagna with, with like butter on. Oh, uh, what's put, wait, 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 what's happening? Butter up. there she goes. Beep. Well, that's just a dollop of fat. Okay, what besides fat is in here? Uh, that's pretty much it. It's a lasagna sheet made out of duck fat. The sauce is made out of lard. Uh, it's a sheep fat cheese. There's a beef fat bolognese and a little schmaltz bechamel in there, and then a dollop of whipped lardo on top. <laughs> Lardo schmutz. What'd you, what'd you call Link? Schmarts okay. Brachamatter. I like I like fat. Like I, I'm one of the one of those guys that there's a steak with a bunch of fat on it. I go for the fat. The fat does have flavor. And, you know, I know you don't really like fat. So I think if there's any fighting fat in chance, it's gonna be me. Before you put put it in there, I'm just, I'll just put it in there. Meaning there your mouth. Before you put it in there, make sure it's covered in fat. <laughs> if this was a yes, this could be a queen sweet in a will it. It is possible. Dink it. it and sink it. Oh. oh, that's crazy. It coats your whole mouth. And you keep breaking into a different layer, and it's another layer of different fat from a different animal that goes. <laughs> and, the, and the flavors are good. It's a little rich. It's so rich. Try try this, by the way, because this this is this helps. I don't know. Squeezing your invisible boobies. Mm-hmm. I'm milking the lard teat. You know what? I think it works as an amouche bouche. Why, what? An amouche bouche. An amouche bouche? Just a little, okay, if it's, it's a really nice Italian restaurant and the chef is just renowned and then he comes out and he's like, the first bite is um, lardzagna. <laughs> he probably has a better name for it. 1 34th this size. Yeah, just a little bite and it's all fat and he, and he does exactly what, uh, Trevor did, and he goes through all the different fats and the stuff, and then you just start squeezing. I think you love it at that point. Fat! Will it lasagna? Yes! yes! Starting off season 19 with a queen sweep! Now, and typically queen sweeps apply more to competitions, but hey, we'll apply it here and we'll yeah. we'll take it all the way across. Hey, there everything has a not been many of these, Trevor. So welcome to 2021, yeah. buddy. Hey, it's good it's, to hey, be here. It's good it's to shape be it here. up to be a good year. Oh yeah, I'm I feel like I can move forward. It's a great start. You're here, we're here. You can count on us. Thanks for subscribing and clicking that bell and squeezing that invisible boob. You know what time it is. I'm Katie. And I'm Katie. And we're Katie, Katie Squared. And we, we just, just got married. married. And it's, it's time, time to, to spin, spin the, the wheel, wheel of mythicality. mythicality. Congratulations, Congratulations Katie, Katie Squared. And see, we <laughs> didn't practice that, I we promise. Didn't. We just knew that's what we needed to say. <laughs>
All right, click through to watch us guess how many layers there are in each one of these you know, different types of onions. Yeah, because you want to. In Good Mythical More. <laughs> and to find out where the Wither Myth Cats are going. Add some scientific magic to your mythical mug collection with the GMM heat activated mug. Available now at mythical.com.